Hello and welcome to a new player review. So we continue our look into the team of the season. Uh, we have community and EFL uh, teams, uh, which have some nice and exciting players in there to, to check out. We saw Moses Simon yesterday, which was a fantastic card. Today we're going to have a look at another player from the community vote, which is going to be Rodrigo Betancourt from um, what is it, Juventus. Uh, a very good card, even on his um, uh, base gold card, which is a 79 rated. He hasn't had any special cards so far, but it's a well-rounded card. So he gets a nice boost to an 88, so uh, 9 ratings. Um, quite a big boost on his base stats and in his in-game stats. Uh, obviously, this card is uh, also very good for his strong links. Um, be it Ronaldo, uh, we also have the um, player moments Sandro. Uh, player moments Ramsey, um, we have uh, Team of the Year Delict, we have uh, that new Team of the Season, Godin. So in terms of links, this guy is going to be very easy to get a strong link into another Serie A player and maybe hybrid him out. Uh, also from Uruguay, Uruguay, we have a few uh, hybrid links that you can do as well. Um, so this is uh, sort of a well-rounded card, as you can see on his face stats, uh, 82 pace, uh, 71 shooting, 88 passing, 90 dribbling, 84 defending, and 87 physical. Uh, it looks like a CM, uh, maybe a CDM. Uh, he's lacking a bit in shooting, um, so not really an attacking player uh, that we can check out. So we, have, we can check him out in a couple of other positions. Um, Compared to other CDMs from uh, Syria, obviously there are quite a few CDMs now in Syria that you can get and maybe some that have more appealing stats uh, than this guy. But like I said, I think this guy has the strong links into players that uh, a lot of you might be using. So that's going to be uh, one of his uh, strong points along with some of his uh, key stats. So let's go and have a look. Uh, like we said, Rodrigo Bentacor from um, Juventus, 187, so he's very tall, 6'2". Uh, that's very nice. Medium, medium work rates. Uh, not the best, not the worst uh, for a CM or a CDM. Uh, but he has four star skills and four star weak foot. Um, no traits. Uh, 82 pace overall with acceleration 79 and sprint speeds uh, 84. Uh, that's kind of good. The differential there, it's exactly five points. So if you want to play him in a CDM spot, which is probably the first position I want to check him out, uh, when you apply the shadow, as you can see here, you get plus 15 and plus 10. So you get equal then uh, to 94 acceleration and 94 sprint speed. Uh, shooting overall 71. Um, it's not the worst, but it's not really the best. Uh, it's not really 71 because as you can see, he has uh, 78 attack position and 79 shot power and 75 uh, long shots. It's just his finishing that is very poor. So he could take a few shots, but uh, his finishing is not going to be there uh, most of the times. Uh, passing overall 88, very good passing with 85 vision, uh, 95 short pass, 89 long pass and 76 curve, that's very good there. Um, dribbling overall 90, very high dribbling with agility 73 and balance 74, those two are a bit low, uh, but not too low. Um, for a CDM, uh, I don't think they're too low. Uh, reactions 84, ball control 94, dribbling 93 and 88 composer. So um, depending on where you want to play him, like I said, I want to try him in the CDM spot. Maybe if you want to change and play him in a box-to-box -box role as a pure CM, uh, you can go with a engine and up the agility and balance there. Um, or you can actually play him maybe a bit more, uh, I don't know, more attacking wise and you can go with a sniper that will give you plus 15 in finishing. You will go to 78 uh, and maybe you will have more chances of scoring, but uh, 63 to 78, I don't think will make much difference there. Uh, defending level 84. Uh, a bit low on interceptions, 81, we go to 91, but he has good defensive awareness, 88 to 98, and good standing tackle, 86 to 91. And not very good spy tackle, but you get that plus 15 from the shadow, so he goes to 91 as well. Uh, very good physical at uh, uh, 87 with 87 jumping, 99 stamina, which is very, very, very good. You always want to see that in your CMs or your CDMs with uh, very high stamina, even at maxed out, uh, so you can use them. The full 90 or 120 minutes. Uh, very good strength at 76 because he stole uh, like at 6 2. Uh, that might uh, feel you will feel more strength maybe in game and with very high aggression at 91. So it looks like a good card uh, overall uh, with a few weaknesses here and there. 
but we want to see how that applies in game. So we did that strong link to Ronaldo here, uh, hybrid out to a Premier League and a bit of La Liga here. Uh, like I said, due to his strong links, it's going to be easy to fit this guy in your team. So uh, let's go into a few uh, foot champions games and test this guy out. Okay, so here we go with our first opponent. A very nice. Uh, what is this? This is going to be a Bundesliga team uh, with Leno in goal. So it looks like a very nice uh, Bundesliga team with special cards. Uh, for the first game, we're going to go into the classic 4 2 3 1 formation. We're going to try team of the season Rodrigo Bentancourt in the main CDM position with uh, stay back while attacking. There. Shoot. Oh. Got there easy. Rodrigo. Drag back. Oops. Ball roll. Drag back. Another one. Very fast. Very agile. Another one. Yes. There's Bruno. Tries to cut in there, but. Or get him. Nice. Nice strength there to hold him back. Yes, got a piece of it there and intercepted. Very nice by Bender Core. Right back. Ball roll. Good pass. Oh, what an assist. We get an assist by Bender Core. Stop. He's not pushing, he's stopping. Good pass, quick pass there to get the foul. Go another one again. Go very very nice. Ah, foul no. Go no. James on ball. Shoot. Four. Shoot. Uh, we get a goal. That was an excellent finish actually. There we go. Pass a four. Don't lose it. Nice, get the foul, nice. Get the four. Got a good dribble. Another good pass to Bruno. Got back, shoot. Oh, no, terrible. Here we go again to Ronaldo, shoot. There we go. 4 0. And he's gone. So, a very nice, quick first game. Excellent performance by Benta Core, 9.6. He gets one goal, he gets an assist. He gets a one-on-one -on -one shot. It was a very good finishing, actually. Uh, not a hard goal, but a uh, good finishing for his uh, 63, I think, finishing that he has, or 68. 11 and 12 passes, 11 and 12 dribbles, and one failed tackle, but he did get quite a few interceptions. So a very good game, uh, this first game. So let's go into another game. Okay, so here we go with our second opponent. Uh, this is going to be a Prem La Liga hybrid. Neuer in goal. And... Uh, Pocket yoke as well, so it's a mix of uh, a lot of elites in there. Uh, we're gonna go again in the same formation, uh, 4 2 3 1, uh, and we're gonna play Rodrigo Bentancourt, team of the season, in the main CDM uh, spot with stay back while attack. Yes, so good speed, pass. Now, ah, good work there. Good, good stop by Rodrigo there. Nice, Rodrigo, good stop. Oh my god. Go. Yes, Ronaldo, get one back. And just, yes, better than four. What a stop. What? Ah. How would you pass that through there? Yes, Rodrigo, good. Right over there. Go. Nice runner. Go. What? No side. Oh my god. Yes. Oh no. Come on. That was a tackle. Go. Yes, there it is. Nice, Bruno. Yes, Ben on board. Good stop by Ben Pancor there. Go. Go. Nice. Go. Let's go. Go. Nice. There we go. Three, four. Nice. Nice, Ben Pancor. Great tackle there. Nice. Nice. 
We get a bad loss here. Uh, deserved, I would say. It was uh, better than me in this game. But uh, we had a very good game by Benakpur. Uh, I switched to the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow um, after the 70th minute, I want to say, uh, uh, with high pressure in order to try to find an equalizer because he was playing very narrow. So um, we get 14-on-14 uh, 14 14 passes from Bentak 4, 13-on-15 dribbles, 4-on-6 uh, tackles. He had an excellent game, Bentak 4. Unfortunately, I couldn't get too many attacking chances uh, to win this game. Uh, that's how it is. So let's move on and uh, play another game. All right, so here's our next opponent. Uh, not a very nice team. This is going to be a Syria team. So probably use Betancourt here, although he has good uh, midfielders, I want to say. Uh, this game, we're going to go in the 4 2 uh, 4 1 2 1 2 narrow, and we're going to play Betancourt as a CM, as a right CM, with no instructions. Goes shoot, no terrible. Win the ball, no good effort there. What oh, under his legs? Pass another one. Go there he is. Roscoe, what penalty? No Bruno, yes, there. Oh my god, what the hell? Shoot, shoot. <laughs> Come on, game. What is going on? Yes. Stop. Good. Bruno. Turn. Shoot. Yes, there we go. Get the goal. Yes, get it. Nice, nice. Nice, but of course, nice. Caught well there. And he won the ball. And he went up as well. Very quickly. Good speed. One. And right back again, crossbow. Oh, go, Bruno. Shoot. Oh, Ronaldo. Out the way. Go. No, too late. Too late. Yeah. Bit late there. With the card. There it is. Shoot and score. What a goal by Carrasco. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh huh. Get on four. Control. Nice. Good control. Good pass. X. There we go. Oh. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, Bruno. What a goal. I thought it was offside. Yes. Good strength. Wow. Good balance there, he kept the ball again. And a good pass. He's on high pressure now. Gonna put everyone behind. There we go. And on the go. Nice. We win it again. Good pass once more. There he is. Good dribble. That's the inside. Keeps the ball. Turns. Pass. Shoot. Shoot. Come on. There we go. Finally. Go. Yes. No, slide by. And get the goal back. What happened? Hello? Oh, great. Is that me? Uh, wow. Well, that's uh, but for you. <laughs> we get a disconnect uh, two, three minutes before the end, and that's going to be game. So uh, we have uh, Rodrigo Betacor, team of the season uh, so far. Um, we played a. Uh, uh, Three nice games. Uh, we won two. I want to say, even though the last one, I think that guy did the disconnection glitch because uh, it didn't count as a loss or as a win. So he probably did some of that shady uh, stuff that people do. Anyways, it doesn't matter to me. Um, 
it's a nice card. We played him as a CDM in two games. One we the first game we won, the other one we lost. But uh, that game we lost, he played really well. Uh, he probably was the standout in the team. And the third and last game, we played him as a right CM. Now, fortunately, because of that guy doing that uh, glitch, uh, we weren't able to see his stats at the end. Uh, but all in all, I felt he was uh, a good CM. Uh, he did provide some offensive um, work, but not a lot. Mostly, he provided a lot of defensive work because his tackling, uh, his aggression, his strength, uh, his positioning is very well. His uh, speed with the shadow is very nice and you can feel that he he is uh, fast even though he's tall um, I really liked him in the game we took a couple of shots the first shot we took in the first game he scored uh, granted it was from sort of an easy position but the finishing was there for 63 that was a good finishing uh, I think we took maybe one more shot something like that uh, all in all I would say that this is a very nice CDM I really enjoyed him I think in the first game and in the second game we played him as a main CDM with stay back uh, he performed really well. He doesn't push up in that CDM role, so he stays back with that medium medium. Also, if you apply the stay back rule, uh, so he's there to cover. Um, I didn't have any issues with his dribbling uh, in terms of agility or balance. Uh, I think he played solid. He was responsive there. Um, like I said, very quick. His defending uh, was better than uh, I expected, and that's probably due to his physical because he goes in with uh, great strength. Uh, to win the ball and he steps in very well. His defensive awareness, which is the highest stat, uh, works really well in the game. His positioning is really well, so he got more, um, I want to say, in, uh, interceptions, as in uh, he was standing in the way of passes and stuff like that, and not a lot of uh, tackles. So all in all, I say this one is a solid uh, CDM, uh, especially for his price, uh, bottom at 83000 and with the strong links that he gives, I think this is a very nice option, very solid card. And uh, if I need this guy for a, um, like a CDM to get those strong links uh, in uh, Syria uh, or a CM, uh, I would definitely put this guy in my team for 83,000. I think uh, for what's available, I think it's a solid team, unless you can put one of the other ones, like maybe uh, Road to the Final, uh, Allen, or maybe that um, headliner, Nangolan, um, Tonali, those are very good CDNs. But uh, if those don't fit in your team and this guy fits due to the strong link, uh, I think it's a solid option. You can add this guy to your team. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.